Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with a new collection update. Uh, the majority of this is going to be coming from Hell's Headbangers. Uh, a couple orders I placed with them. I only bought a couple CDs, but I uh, also bought a bunch of band merch. But I uh, got a few other things I'm going to show from different places like Barnes & Noble and uh, Best Buy. Uh, the first one I got for $9 at Best Buy, and I couldn't even believe they even had it. The new skinless album, Only the Ruthless Remain. Pretty solid comeback album. And the next one is the Best Buy exclusive edition of this. Haven't heard a single note from this, but I'm a big fan of both uh, members of it, and I've been excited ever since I heard this project was coming out. That's uh, Skills and Pills by Lindemann. And if you don't know, the band, of course, is named after the Rammstein singer Teal Lindemann, and also has uh, Peter Tackren in it. And like I said, big fan of both guys, and I've been anxious to hear what this sounds like. And the next three come from Barnes & Noble. And uh, ever since I read Dial Patterson's book, as I've said, I've been on a huge black metal kick lately, and I haven't bought anything from this band in a long time. In fact, the last time I heard from them was Imaginary Sonic Scape, and uh, which, by the way, Corpse Cry, Angel Fall, hands down my favorite Psy song. But I got uh, Scenes from Hell, Insomnophobia, and their latest one, Grave Ward. And uh, onto the Hell's Headbangers stuff. The last, like, several times that I've ordered from them, they've given me a free CD. And uh, I seem to get a lot of free CDs from the same label, and that's Shadow Kingdom Records. And I don't know if it's just because they can't sell the shit or what, but uh, yeah, they, this is the fourth time I've gotten some from them. And out of the three previous times, I've only enjoyed one CD, and the others are in a pile I'm going to be selling or trading. So, yeah, maybe this will be different. I don't know. Don't know anything about this band. But it's Coven, Worship New Gods. You know, I'll give it a shot. It was free. What the hell. Another one I bought because of uh, the book. And it was only on, like, $3.33. Mains, and I'm going to totally butcher this. I'm sorry. Under ein Blood Ravid Mann. And then, uh... I've been wanting to get something from this band for a while. Now, this is uh, Gaul from uh, Godseed and former Gorgoroth vocalist band uh, Treldom. Teal et Unit. And I believe this is their second album, maybe third. And the last CD that I got <coughs> is uh, Infernum Farewell. And this is a Polish black metal band featuring uh, Rob Darkin and Capricornus. And I forget the name of the other guy, but it's the third party's band that they were in and uh it's kind of interesting because the guy behind the band actually killed himself and in the booklet rob darkin and them say you know we're glad that he did it so he saved us with trouble having to kill him ourselves so i guess there was a lot of uh, issues there towards the end of this band and then the big thing i got from there besides this awesome by the way mayhem death crush shirt which now my family can quit griping that i only wear black but uh, the big things I really wanted to get from there is this Celtic Frost Morbid Tales coffee cup. Because, you know, I collect coffee cups. And Dark Throne Transylvanian Hunger. Pretty cool. Then I did get a couple pins for my vest. I'm going to put these probably side by side for obvious reasons. We've got Mayhem logo. And... One of dead there. And I'm going to attempt to show this next item that I got. The biggest item that I got there. So bear with me. Here we have my Marduk front schwein poster flag. Got this uh, hanging up over my closet. Kind of hiding all my shirts. But I saw this and I just had to have it. So yeah. That is my latest collection update. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing, and until next time, stay brutal.